Okay, here we are folks, and basically this is pretty important stuff because if you can see, they turn the satellite, okay? So, as we go ahead and uh, slow this down so that we can see it pretty decently, well, we're gonna keep an eye on our object that we got up by Saturn and it's rising, which is a good thing. Uh, the, the factual that we'll do is when we slow this down too, I'm gonna pop up in size first. And what we do is we love it when they do do this, but they do it because the idea that they're trying to get a good look, basically you just realize that they can give you some shots that they don't really let you know that they've got. Okay. So I'm going to hit this into slower, and you're going to get a good look about 360 degrees of a 180 degree view of a 360 in space, because they're going to go all the way around. Okay. Now we got... We have that up there. What they're trying to do is they're orienting. It doesn't matter. They can look like this all the time. No matter what they try to sit there and tell you. It doesn't spend fuel. It, they've got, it's a solar panel there. A duh, you see. So actual factual. No matter what. And then nuclear powered also. So they rolled before to see uh, Lovejoy and so forth. And they're keeping an eye on this because, you know, as you can see today, this rose. So, uh, as they, I'll keep slowing this down and we'll keep giving, getting footage. And I got to stop for a second, but this is at Sechi H12. As you can see in our date and time. And as we come back and freeze, you'll see that they flip around. And you see, right there you go, you got Mars. And uh, we'll actually just go over there and we'll, we'll hit pause. And there we go, we got Jupiter, Venus. And then they got something marked B right now, and I'll probably know what that is. You know, and that's probably uh, right now. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just flipping this video out real fast. So you got Mars, Venus, Jupiter. Okay. So and then basically this is either we'll know in a few minutes whether this is uh, this is either Pan Stars or the Sun right there. Okay. So as we basically will pop back on the shot real fast, and as you can see, it got highlighted there, SCADA, Supervisor Control and Data Acquisition. Okay, so then we're looking at whatever we're looking, 360 degrees pretty much in a uh, goldfish bowl, okay, because they only showing you 180 when we're going to keep rolling around here, so basically there is either pan stars or the sun, okay? And I would say that that more than likely is pan stars, but we'll end up stepping, or basically the super giants too, you get, okay? So there you go. And then you get to see a big old well of darkness of space out there, okay? So, now we'll basically uh, step another shot, okay? And we'll be able to slow this down, come back and look at this. So this is just great when they have to when they have to look at a lot of stuff, we get lucky. So hopefully they'll be turning again for a couple days. And then we're not going to get too much of the action, but we do know the location of how it's gotten higher up towards Saturn. Because no matter what, since they turned it, the satellite, let the lens or the satellite, we don't really if you slow the footage down you'll be able to tell that too know a little bit more I didn't uh, the one that I kept on saying I was going to go back and take a look when they turned around the satellite then now we'll be able to go back to that footage too and be able to compare to and take a look at whatever we see that's different we'll get this in at 999 and then I'm also going to take you and you'll realize that pan stars is not a comet because they hid part of the magnetical they hit they hid the positive polarity so basically it's got a hell of a polarity to it so there you got a 999 and you've got whatever the heck we've got up by uh, Saturn now they marked something on Saturn the other day and as you can see here this is the we'll take you down this is the shot it's the 19th there was uh, a dancing we had a dancing uh, hyperbolic or something that floated way off uh, in space behind that they had it marked Saturn and it's not Saturn and I'll be able to basically you can go to the old video and I'll show it in the next video to remember what I was saying that, that I was going to show you uh, the actual factual of something that looks like this 
and they marked it Saturn. So uh, there's a possibility that it could be related to, to this. And then we also go to JPL real fast and it will make you realize when we're sitting here and I can zoom in and zoom out, there's Panstar's location, okay? And there's the sun, the little red dot in the middle. So you can see where Panstar's is way the hell out. And then you can, if you wanna play around with the video there, because I'll go back and hopefully try to play the, the movie. But as you can see, it's this this object is in the same pattern following pan stars, whatever the heck it is that we're seeing up there, okay? Because you can't miss it right here. And pan stars is currently, right when I zoom in, that's basically where pan stars is at. And I've got it on the 18th because I was looking at some stuff and I can just basically I'll pop it ahead. And I'll even give you tomorrow. Okay? So as we zoom back out. There you go. The, basically, the, what we've got up here, when we're at the fresh Sechi from the 19th, and there you got that up there by Saturn. Okay, so actual factual that this is up there, and they are getting a good look at it. Uh, I'm going to pull a so we got the magnifier real fast on our object, and remember this is not. It might be. It's going to be because I've got the new list. There's a bunch of 2013 stuff that they found recently, but most everything orbits earth that they found so this is something that they're not talking about too much so and screw they it's just a way it's just a wording of saying you know when you don't drop a name I'm not dropping a name so it's just basically they and uh, some people get off by being they think that they are they they're not they're just another human being on the face of the earth they're just as much intangible wealth that they have okay it's intangible you can't tax it you can't steal it Anyway, doing pretty damn good. So, basically, actual factual, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I'm going to pop out, because if we get in any closer, it's not going to give you much of any more of a good view. And then I can keep the magnifier over like this and get in and, and look. It's just basically, it's a, it's, if there's something in there, it's carrying a lot of magnetical strength, and it's bringing a bunch of little stars around, along with it. Okay? Uh, like I say in the next video, I have some stuff that I showed you that basically, if you zoom in on that footage from... Uh, and then that's, I remember on the 18th, and I don't even have to worry about playing it, but there's the last bit of the tail of Pan Stars going away on the 18th there on that footage, and I think I've already had that for you. But I'm going to show you, uh, this is the fresh H1 ahead. You can match up your objects, and you see, you'll see the magnetic line in other shots because this is stereo ahead A, freshest you're going to get right now on the 21st. Okay, and then I'll take you to the 18th. <clears throat> that's that object right here. It's the same object. And these objects are all match up. And this is the other object right there. There's Mercury and Earth right there. And I'll show you where Mercury and Earth is at. Mercury and Earth are right there to the left. Okay. I'm going to keep it at this size. And remember that this shot, the freshest you can get. And basically, this is Earth and Mercury right there, straight away from the sun over there. And this is our object there. And this is our object there. And there's other objects too. This here and all these other brightness that you see are basically, if you take an, if you look at your two-day-old stuff, that will all match up to what you've got here, here, you look at your bright objects. This is the two bright objects that you can see in the fresh huge footage right here. So real fast, if you pay attention, remember Mercury and Earth is over there, I'm repeating, but people have short attention span. Okay, boom, boom, okay. And then factually, that there and that there are your objects right here that are in this shot, okay. This and this. So you can see that that object has magnetical on the top, the top and the, and the bottom i.e. from H1 ACE, which is A ahead, you're going to see these fresh spots that are right because no matter what it won't fool you, Mercury and Earth are over there to the left and these bright spots are there and you can always see it when you go ahead and boom and boom and then Mercury and Earth are right over there to the left. Okay pop up 400 move to the left those are our two bright objects that you're seeing out there and then mercury and earth are right there straight across from the sun straight across from the sun and i'm having a little no problems at all just basically scatter okay so they're directly across from the sun okay and then you got your two bright objects that are there that you can see Okay, and then they'll match up, and then Mercury and Earth are struck straight across from the Sun. We're going to hurry up and get, uh, there's your shot. 
all by itself and now saving now remember folks when they were taking the magnetical line out of the north side of the shots and you're going to see it from everything that you go to look at and that's why as soon as, soon as i was having trouble trying to get this to come up i knew i was getting more scatter supervisory control and data acquisition just the uh powers to be probably out of office you know not not pennsylvania avenue probably who knows one way or the other but the factual that the idea that whoever keeps on trying to mess with space actual factual data okay so basically you can see the magnetical line all the way through so this is not a comment like i've been telling you and this is just bleeds more factual that it's not a comment and just there's a bunch of astrophysicists and stuff that are getting mad that just somebody without a college education i had a college education when i was in high school and they know the high school i went to and basically i had the best teachers in the world okay And this is not a comment, okay? Actual factual, you know it by watching it. It's not a comment. Watch that magnetic line come in. Remember I showed you the gray too? And then as you notice on the gray, they why did they black out the magnetic on the gray? Well then they'll say, oh, it only shows up on the blue, whatever. So here's some more actual factual footage. You gotta look at footage about five different places, just like your news. You gotta read through the propaganda and the BS, okay? So remember, there's lots of objects around in space, i.e. close to Earth, i.e. we got these here to the right that you're seeing more magnetical than I've always shown you before. And, almost, and then basically they, they darkened our object here out, but you can see the magnetical coming down on, on our object here that was close to Earth. Okay, and that is rotating. It, okay, now remember folks, you want to try to watch for whatever they had blacked out on a lot of the other footage that we had. So coming up through the whiteness here, you're going to want to watch for whatever got blacked out okay because it's something that's below earth and as you can see i'm getting supervisory control and data acquisition and fun again because i had to play whatever there we go so there's going to be something that hopefully we on this footage here that if you keep watching it and i ain't got time right now for it but there's something on below that we should hopefully be able to match up with what we've been seeing I'm getting blacked out on the other footage but then again, they may have. And basically, it's like right here. You can see that there's a planet right there. Right there and low and close to Earth. So I don't see what the big thing was. We know there's plenty of objects out there. I guess it's basically because you can see the magnetical line on it, I guess. And if I stay away, actually, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this back because you'll get it without the cursor and everything if I just get out of the way and you can see that there's actually even something it's hard to tell because we got something if you watch lower here below the clock because I'll get out of the way but this it won't as you see there's a magnetical lower left it could be mercury that could be mercury's magnetical line that's going by there to the very left of the screen as you see by the numbers by the clock okay at the very beginning see that so that could be Mercury, and then I go away, and then we get a good view for a while. We get everything out of the out of the shot. So study this closely, and there we go. You get that medical line. More than likely, that's Mercury's magnetic line to the very left of the screen. And then watch over by the back of the pan stars where it was black. You see that that shadow underneath of the magnetic line, and that magnetic line is so strong that it's not a comet. Because you can see in all the Sechi footage, the other the red infrared, that it's black underneath that, and it's a shadow. So you get the full glory of the comet right here, coming all around. Some unmessed with, and unblocked, what they were trying to block there lower left, I do not know. But it is planetoid objects that are basically, I guess, you can see that they're easily, uh, I'll just take it back because it's basically, this is straight up from NASA. This is pretty much untouched. much not touch much anyway at least we get the magnetic line in it because i got it away the cur that cursor and then they play it twice too so you should be able to see lower left everything is moving to see clockwise you see the majority of it is everything else we're moving counterclockwise but we do have a lot of planetoid objects that are close by as you can see to see the tail of pan stars ends up showing you how close a lot of this stuff is so when you go to the red they're actually good because the idea that you can see like i've been telling you how close 
all of the objects like up 